Hi everyone, welcome to Awesome Math. Today we'll be deriving this arctangent identity using complex numbers. Go ahead and review Cartesian and polar forms of complex numbers. Any number of the form a plus bi can also be rewritten in the following form, which is defined as r e to the i theta. We're going to show these two equations are the same. So we have a plus b i is equal to r e to the i theta. For some r and theta, we're going to show that it's this eventually using Euler's formula. So it's a bit plus i sine theta. And now we're going to write two equations. So we have equation one. It's a terrible a, sorry about that. Okay, equation one tells us that b is equal to r sine theta, and equation 2 says that a is equal to r cos theta. Now we're going to take equation 1 divided by equation 2. This tells us that b over a is equal to sine theta over cos theta, which is tangent theta, equivalent to what we have written here. And we're going to take 1 squared plus 2 squared. This will yield a squared plus b squared. And this is equal to r squared cos squared theta plus sine squared theta. Recognizing this is 1, just r squared, exactly what we have written here. r is a square of a squared plus b squared. Theta is inverse tangent of b over a. Great. Now we have that out of the way, we can go ahead and use it to derive our main result. I'm going to keep it here just for reference purposes. Okay, so we're going to start by considering 2 plus i, 3 plus i, I'm going to foil this out, 6 plus 5i minus 1 is 5 plus 5i, which is 5 times 1 plus i as well. Now we're going to write both left and right hand sides in polar form, see what we get. This tells us that square root of 2 squared plus 1, no, I don't like this there. Sorry, don't like that. Okay. Square root of 2 squared plus 1 e to the i inverse tangent of 1 half, square root of 3 squared plus 1, e to the i inverse tangent of 1 third, is equal to, on this side, 5 square roots of 2, because this has magnitude square root of 2, of course, e to the i inverse tangent of 1, because this or this is 1, Going to simplify this, becomes the square root of 4 squared plus 1 is 5, square root of 9 plus 1 is 10, e to the i, these go in brackets, inverse tangent negative 1 half plus inverse tangent of 1 third equals, on this side, 5 squared root of 2, e to the i, pi over 4, since the angle that has a tangent of 1 is indeed pi over 4, and these are the same thing. This is 5 square roots of 2 as well, because you can take the 5 in there by squaring it, all right, the same, so they cancel, and we obtain the main result, since e to the i something equals e to the i something else, something else is have to be the same. This tells us that the main result is true inverse tangent of one half plus inverse tangent of one third is equal to pi over four. Very curious identity. It can of course be derived using real variable methods, but not quite so elegantly or easily. And if you enjoy this, want to see more math, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.